Hey, hello everyone. Welcome. Come on in. Join me. I am Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have been a demonstrator for Stampin' Up! for over 26 years and I am so excited with each new catalog and each new selection of new products and today we are talking about some brand new celebration products. Specifically, this gorgeous bedazzling paper. So if you're joining me live, come on in, say hello, let me know where you are either joining from or just tell me something about your day or what you're working on. I would love to say hi. Hey, Cindy, Robin, Bonnie. Good to see you, Donna, Ramona. Oh, it says, and eight other people. Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. I am so happy you're joining me. If you are seeing the red live button in the corner, that means you're joining me live on, oh, it's Friday the 13th. Oh, oh well, whatever. <laughs> in August, August 13th. You might be watching a replay. Fabulous as well. So, oh yeah, Smoky in Roseville. I know it is. Hi, Tammy, Donna, Libby, Debbie, Sharon, Susan. Hello, everyone. Hi, Sue, Marie, yes. Oh, and from Virginia, hello. Hi, Missy, good to see you all. Hi, Linda. We are going to be chatting today about specifically a lot of the celebration products and some other fun things, just catching up a little bit. I would welcome you to just, you know, grab a cup of coffee or whatever time of day it is for you and settle in and we're going to have a fun chat and I have some amazing samples for you. If you're watching the replay, welcome as well. I can't see your live comments, obviously, if you are watching later, but you're welcome to still comment and I will hopefully come back and find your comments. Hi, Marcy. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Tanya. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Ethel. Oh, my goodness. So many. Let's see. Oh, we are officially at the top of the hour. So let me just say I, I'm welcome in. This is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today we are chatting about free celebration gifts. This is the first time Stampin' Up! has done this, at least to my knowledge, to my memory, which, you know, that could be fading. <laughs> But we usually have celebration in January and February or January, February, March. This year, Stampin' Up! has added celebration in the summer, coinciding with the release of our holiday catalog. So this is the uh, August, I know it says July, but it was delayed a month. So it's the August to December holiday catalog. We're going to be using products from that today. And like I said, concentrating on the bedazzling celebration paper. So some people have asked, because they're new, and that's fine, what is celebration? It is a smaller brochure. And yes, I know it's backwards. That's just what Android phones do. But inside, you will find specific gifts that say free with your $50 order. Some of them say free with your $100 order. You can order from the, the big annual catalog, the one that lasts a year. You can order from the holiday catalog that just started. Or you can order from the clearance rack or from everything. And your um, total sales for your order will determine what you can get free out of the celebration catalog. So the very first item is the Be Dazzling paper that we're going to talk about today. There's also this completely adorable penguin paper, which I don't know if you remember a few weeks ago, we made this really cute pinwheel card featuring that paper. Oh, so cute. I will, if I can remember, I'm going to link to this in the description so that if you missed it, you can see this. This, this was, this floats my boat. I love this. <laughs> so that's in there also for, um, one of your gift choices. We have this stamp set, which I have not used yet. So this will be coming up maybe in a week or two. And we're going to, I think, play with the new pastel chalks that I haven't played with and also color it with Stampin' Blends. So we'll be working on that. The beautifully penned paper, 
we used this. Let's see. I think we also made, yep, we made a pinwheel card with it. Do you remember this one that we made? And I also have samples on my blog today featuring this paper. It's beautiful. It's all just, I don't really want to say black and white because it's kind of charcoal and white or dark gray and white, really. I guess it's kind of black and white, but you, you get the idea. So that's one of your free gift choices. This paper, super fun for Christmas, but also can be used other times of the year. Some of the prints are a little Christmassy. Some of them are just winter. Some of them can be used for masculine cards. So that is a gift choice. Did I bring a sample over here? Um, I did not, but I have blogged about that. So you can see those on my blog. Okay, these we will be using soon as well. The cute sheep or lamb set and the matching dies. So those also are free gift choices, as well as this stamp set, which I'm envisioning this for a ring of coffee, like, you know, when you pick up your coffee mug if it spilled a little. So I'm going to be playing with that soon. I think that's fun. These dies we have used, in fact, I just showed you, we have used it on this project I believe as well. I think I have featured it on other things, but we're going to be using it today. And this is what the die set looks like that you can get free. And it is, since it's a larger, more uh, valuable gift, you do have to place a $100 order to get this free. But uh, to me, I would say definitely worth it. Two of the dies actually die cut stamped images did I pull that stamp set out here? I Well, oh yeah, I did right here. It's called Shaded Summer. Now this set you would purchase. It's in the annual catalog. So the stamp set itself is not a free gift, but the dies are. And we are going to be using these five flower dies as well as the leaves today. Okay, so watch for that in my samples today coming up. And one more, the Dahlia is also a free celebration offering for a $100 order. This set is amazing. It's beautiful. I showed you a few weeks ago three ideas that I did, three ways to use that flower stamp. And then this last week, I think, we also used it with the tips for blending brushes. This is what the set looks like, and you can use the outline alone, the filler alone, or you can two-step stamp them together. So totally versatile. I love that set, and I think it's fabulous as a free gift choice. So hey, welcome everyone. If you're just joining late, today we are going to be using this amazing Be Dazzling paper. I want to show you what I did. I colored it. How gorgeous, amazing, beautiful. Doesn't it color beautifully? Look at that. <gasps> love, 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 love this. What I used were my Stampin' Spritzers. So I'm going to show you what I did to get these beautiful colors. Let's look at it compared to, so here's the gold out of the package, and then there are the colors that I used. Amazing, right? Beautiful. I see the hearts going by. I think you like it. Hi, Roxanne, Margaret, Robin, uh, Donna, Betty. Welcome, welcome. So glad you're joining me today. So here's what I do. I use my Stampin' Up! re-inkers or ink refills. I think you can say either way, right? Oh, and by the way, just because everybody asks, I use one of our embellishments that matches the color of the ink, or at least it's close, or I will grab, for instance, this is Poppy Parade, so I would grab my Poppy Parade Stampin' Blends marker, and I could color a clear embellishment. I put it on the top because, actually, right there behind me, you can kind of see that drawer is full of my reinkers. So when I pull out the drawer, I like to glance real quick and see the colors, and that way I can grab it quickly. But I also write with a fine tip marker, like I wrote Poppy, 
so that I can kind of see. And I have them grouped by like all the reds and oranges, all the yellows, all the greens and blues, the purples in there. That's how I have them organized. So, okay, that was just sort of a side note, but I hope that's helpful. So this is my Poppy Parade reinker. So what I would do is I, I even wrote on this one, Poppy. If you write with a Sharpie, you can wipe that off later with an alcohol wipe if, if you don't want to permanently label things. So that's what I did. You unscrew. Okay, this little thing comes all the way out, but I'm not going to lift it all the way out because it'll drip on my project. <laughs> so you unscrew that, and I put about 10 drops. Okay, 10 drops in there, about. Or if it's not like dripping, if it comes out in a stream, you can just go like, Psh. that's like a technical, you know, measurement, okay? And then I use rubbing alcohol. And let me grab it over here without knocking over my camera. So I have 91% rubbing alcohol. I like to put it in this type of applicator. This is a hair color applicator. I get it at Sally Beauty. You can probably get them online. But what I like is this, you see this long skinny tip so that it makes it super easy to get right inside of this tube and fill it. So that's what I did. About 10 drops of reinker, fill it about seven eighths of the way, three quarters of the way, because when you put that little, when you put this back in, it takes up a little space. So you can't fill it all the way to the top and then put that thing in, it'll bubble over, okay? So I see a question that says, did I use silver or gold? Um, this paper only comes in one color and it's like a gold. So if that's what you were asking about, um, I'm not sure, Paula. Let me just, yeah, that. So yeah, it just comes in the one color. Okay, so so then you, you have your alcohol in your ink and you shake it up, although it mixes pretty good, but anyway, shake it up. And then you just pull off this cap and there's a spritzer end. And here's what I do. I go to the dollar store and I get those foil pans that are like for a lasagna size. So about nine by 13 ish, give or take, I don't know. They usually come two to a pack. So they're 50 cents a piece. I use them for like a year. I would lay this in the pan and then I spritz and then you get all these different beautiful colors. And it doesn't take a lot. It takes maybe a third, a quarter to a third of a tube to about a third of a tube to color a whole sheet, depending on how saturated you want it. And since you're using the 91% alcohol in there, it dries super quick. So like amazing, right? Uh, Christine is asking, is it okay to use your Stampin' Blends markers to color this paper? Yes. But here's my recommendation if you're going to do whole sheets, don't use your Stampin' Blends. Number one, it's probably going to use up like most of the ink in your blend and it's going to rough up the tip. If you're just coloring a little strip or like you just have, I told you we were using the, the little leaf dye today. If you just needed to color the leaf or something, by all means, sure, you could grab your Stampin' Blends. But just, just so you know, it will rough up the tip and it will use up your Stampin' Blend ink. So for economic reasons, you would want to try this and just for ease of coloring. So that, that would be my recommendation. All right, so let me tell you the colors I used. Let me grab them all here. So I used Shaded Spruce and Coastal Cabana. They look similar, which is why, like I said, I write on there. You could also put like a little post-it note or make a label, you know, whatever you'd like. Then I also used Rich Razzleberry. I used Cajun Craze. And then the first one I told you, Poppy Parade. So those are the five colors I've done so far. And I loved them all. I, 
I wouldn't change a thing. I think they're beautiful. So let me show you some of the projects I worked on with these uh, colors. And I'll show you what I use. So let me show you first. And I know the greeting is backwards. Android phones just have a thing with not flipping it uh, on a live with the front facing camera. So do you love this? Oh my gosh, I think this is gorgeous. Isn't this pretty? Who wouldn't love these dazzling pumpkins? So this is the detailed pumpkin die set. I used those three pumpkin dies and I used the three, these three, these three leaves. So let me show you that again. How pretty. I see hearts. I think you like it. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. Tammy's is totally obsessed. Uh, let's see. Somebody said, I missed it. What are you using to color? I am filling my spritzers with re-anchor and al rubbing alcohol to spritz on the bedazzling celebration paper to make all different colors. Isn't it pretty? It's just like glowing. <laughs> so that's that. I got this frame and this label from the Blackberry Beauty Ephemera Pack. There's a lot of really beautiful supplies in this. Labels and frames and tags. And let me just show you. You can kind of see in the, the first page some of those. And then there's like these different beautiful die cut pieces. There's four sheets of those. Just really beautiful. Really pretty. I'm out of base. <laughs> My husband was just in here before I started and he's working from home today and I'm like, I need a bigger desk. <laughs> so that's the pumpkins. Um, I will tell you, see this detailed pumpkin? So it's this die right here. It right in the middle, it didn't come out perfect. Like I couldn't get every little detailed piece out. So that's why I have this greeting right across the middle of the pumpkin. But hey, you know, it's handmade and it worked. And so that's what I did. Uh, let's see, there was a question. Can you show the best ways to use the dies on this paper? Which direction so you don't dull the dies? Okay, so there is in the celebration brochure right down here, there's a little message that does say that using glittered paper and dies can dull your dies quicker, okay? So at first I wasn't going to use this paper. I, I thought, well, maybe I'll just use like my old trimmer blade and I'll just cut maybe strips and add that to my card or just put it on the card front and I'm not going to do it with my dies. And then I'm like, you know what? What the heck? I am just going to try this because it's too beautiful not to use, right? So I just did it just regular. So for instance, here's your pumpkin die. Oh gosh, you can see it. You can see one of the pumpkins right there. So I just placed it right on the glitter side and I just cut it. I'm sure it would be perfectly fine to cut it from the plain side. Um, I did it on the glitter side and so far it's fine. I mean, it's not like I've made hundreds of these, but yeah. So, so far it's okay. But just, just so you know, it does say that in the catalog and just so you're warned. And I don't want you to come back and say, well, you said to cut all the pumpkins. Well, I did the pumpkins, but so far so good. <laughs> yes. Love those pumpkin dies and stamps. I know Rosemary. Beautiful, right? Thank you, Karen. She says a beautiful card. Thank you. You're welcome, Sherry. You're welcome. Um, if I missed any questions, could you repost your question? I know I get going and I get so excited and sometimes I forget to watch the comments go by. <laughs> okay, let me show you the next sample. I have three cards to show you today. The next sample features the harvest dies. And let me just tell you that this bundle, there's also a stamp set that goes with this. This bundle is a free as a you could get it free if you join Stampin Up during celebration and the dates are on the front August 3rd to September 30th they are offering 
All you have to do is look inside the back cover. You can get any one of those bundles free in your starter kit. What a deal, right? There's that whole list, and I have I have it on my blog if you want to refer to it if you don't have the um, brochure. But you would pick out $125 worth of your choice of product, and you would only pay $99, plus you would get the extra bundle. You get catalogs, you get business supplies, and if all you ever want to do is just enjoy the discount, that's all you need to do. You can join our amazing community. We have, it's called the Love to Stamp group. We have over 450 people nationwide in our group, and we have a fabulous private Facebook group that is really active every day. There's samples and tips and questions and answers, and I have weekly training for my team, which let me show you. So I showed them this card on my weekly training this week, and I used these Harvest dies. So pretty. Aren't they amazing? I love this. So it's just die cut out of those colored pieces of bedazzling glimmer paper. Isn't it amazing? So this was the shaded spruce. This was, I believe, the Cajun craze, and this was the poppy parade. Might, might be backwards. I think, yeah, backwards. I think this was the poppy. You can see it turns out a lot lighter. And then I think that was the Cajun craze. Then in the background, that piece, let me show you. That's the first thing I cut. Isn't it beautiful? And all the detail, like it comes out perfect, right? So it's that piece right there. And I did that directly out of the gold paper. This was the uncolored paper, and I used it in the background of that card, just sort of at, to build on. And then I put those flowers over it. And that little label is right out of that ephemera pack as well. I did add, let me show you what a really great addition to this, using this paper is the brushed metallic dots. I think they're beautiful. They, they look like brads. Remember when we used to have brads that we added to everything? You punch the hole and you put it through and you spread the little legs apart. But they're just self-stick. And so I did add those to this card as well. The paper in the background is from this Harvest Meadow Suite. And it's called Harvest Meadow. So there's the two-page spread. And I did use this paper for the background of that card. So again, if you want this bundle free, it's featured over here on page 56. It's one of the bundles that you could select if you want to join Stampin' Up. And I saw a couple comments go by uh, saying that it's the best group. I saw Tammy and Leticia, I believe. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I know, Lisa, uh, let me finish that thought. Tammy and Leticia were saying best group ever. Thank you so much. So kind of you. Um, Lisa said we do have brads in the catalog. Yes, but not the metallic. We have black and white, but I remember having metallic brads for so many years. They were so popular. And then we had like all the colors and it was really fun. So that was my second card. And if it's hard to see on the card, I just mounted a few of them just on white cardstock so you could see a little better. That's how they look when you die cut them. And you can get, I saved these pieces to show you. You can get a ton, and I'm not done cutting yet. You can get a ton of pieces out of the these six by six glitter paper pieces, right? And I'm not done cutting from these. So you can just keep cutting and keep cutting and, and just get a lot of little pieces out of those. All right, you ready for this one? This is like so glittery. What? <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you even believe it? All the glitz and glamour on this card. Oh my gosh. So I've used the Blackberry Beauty paper, a strip of the gold paper. I have used the die cuts with the... Did I use Blackberry Raspberry? Uh, rich Razzleberry. So I, I spritzed the paper with the Rich Razzleberry. I've layered them onto the gold or vice versa, the gold on top of the Razzleberry. I've done the Shaded Spruce for the leaves. 
I've added this gorgeous gold ribbon. So this is new as well. Isn't that pretty? And all on rich Razzleberry paper. And then, that wasn't enough glitz. Look at this. These are from the In Color. Hang on. Got all my embellishments over here. Uh, well, it's from the. Oh, yes. In Color Jewels. And I actually used the Evening Evergreen Jewels on this. Doesn't that just, like, it picks up the gold, it picks up the raspberry, it picks up the green. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. If you know me, I'm not normally, like, blitz and bling and glitter and all of that, but I could not help myself. This, when I die cut these, I was just like, oh, my gosh, can you even stand this? <laughs> I just, I went crazy with it. Isn't it beautiful? I love this. So if you are looking for details on these samples, I will have these on my blog starting tomorrow. Uh, I think I will do this one tomorrow and then I'll do those other two probably Monday. So if you need details or close-up photos, you will be able to see those. But I just could not wait to show you these. Oh, okay, so the big thing, this, <laughs> duh, here's why I'm showing you this today. This Be Dazzling paper is limited quantities. When they run out, it's gone, okay? They are not going to restock it, as well as the dyes. Hang on. The Summer Shadow dyes, when these run out, they're gone. And the Sheep dye with the fence. So those three products, when those are out of stock, they're gone. They are not reordering them. They just can't get them in time to restock before the end of um, September. So that's why I'm doing this video today is to remind you that if you want a pack of this with your $50 order, get it soon. I, I was almost leery. I thought like, oh, what if it runs out before my do my video? I'm going to be like, Wah. <laughs> so anyway, I, I, that was the big reason why I was doing this video today. Uh, let's see. Oh, Shan says, don't know where you get your ideas. She's good at copying, not inventing. I just sit down and I just start die cutting and I, I just like go crazy. I can't stop. So I, I don't know. They're just all, I think about stamping up 24 seven. I wake up in the night and write down things to do. I wake up in the morning and write down things to do. Like ask my husband, he'll tell you this is true. <laughs> Robin says she definitely needs to get more. Oh, how sweet. Tracy says leaving me breathless in, in my favorite color pink. I'm glad you like it. Yes, Libby, I'm glad you picked that paper as well. Yes, amazing. So hang on, let me just, oh, so I was going to show you the Blackberry Beauty paper that I used on that last card. I used a strip of this. It was not available at the beginning of the catalog, but it is available now. So if you missed it and you didn't get it yet, it's available now. So that's one side. And look at this one in particular. Isn't that going to be pretty? Oh, I think I have to show it to you that way. Isn't that going to be beautiful? And then here are the back sides. Yeah, so beautiful. Beautiful color combo. And that's what inspired this card. You can just see all those colors that I pulled out of there to use on this card. So I wanted to show you that. I showed you the ribbon, the spritzers. I'm just going through here. Just looking to see what else I missed. Um, oh, I know one thing I was going to show you. It, it kind of has nothing to do with with all of it. Sort of does. Anyway, um, paper shares. I've got all 106 of them packaged up and in envelopes ready to mail. I'm going to be working on the um, shipping labels. And hopefully they will go to the post office today. If not today, they will go tomorrow because our post office is open on Saturday. 
And then that is several days early. So I really wanted to get that done for you and out. So thank you to all of you that signed up for my paper share. Your packages will go in the mail early. Yay! Yay! That was a lot of work. It was nose to the grindstone, but I did it. <laughs> um, oh, hello in Australia, 4.30 in the morning. Oh my goodness, welcome. <laughs> I know. Mercy says that she didn't know if she would like that paper at first, but now she loves it. Let me just tell you, when we first saw the PDF online of... My desk is a mess. Hang on. It's coming. <laughs> of the Celebration brochure. And I'm trying to zoom in, you know, on my computer, and I was trying to look at the... um this dazzling paper, I was like, hmm, I'm not sure. I don't know about that. I probably don't need it. But I always try to get one of everything just, you know, to be sure. And so it came and I was like, well, yeah, okay. But then when I spritzed it, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think, I don't know. Do you agree? Give me a heart or a thumbs up if you agree. Like this is just outstanding and just opens up a huge world of possibilities. I, I mean, I think it does. I really do. Let's see. Bless you. By the way, he sneezed. Uh, oh, hi, Andrea says, I just found you watching live for the first time from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Oh, yes. Lots of hearts and thumbs up. Yes. So you agree. It just really opens up a lot of possibilities. Yes, blues. I haven't done blues yet. Well, I take that back. I mean, I did do so interesting. This is the Coastal Cabana, Tammy. But when you're putting it on gold, which is a yellow tone, it's going to turn it green. So just be aware, depending what your... um you know, what your base, so this is a gold base. If you add blue, blue and yellow make green. So depending on the blue that you use, so maybe Night of Navy or Misty Moonlight, which maybe have a little more saturation of blue onto this, that might turn out more blue, but I still, my guess is that it's going to go more to like the Bermuda Bay, the greenish side, but hey, we can, you know, we can always try. So that'll be fun, Tammy. Let's see. Hang on. There was, there must have been something. Oh, yeah. Marcy is putting a snake emoji on. Okay. So I shared these samples with my team on our weekly training this week. <laughs> and I was saying that this kind of reminded me of a snake skin look. And so I wasn't sure if I was going to like it because I, sorry, I just don't do reptiles. I'm not good at that. I'm a penguin and a squirrel lover, <laughs> my furry friends. So, yeah. So, uh, oh, Marcy said it wasn't her. Okay, somebody did it. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Debbie. She says, watching from Knoxville, Tennessee. I love all the cards. Oh, Heather did it this time. Okay. Well, it's just sort of a joke in our group that they were um, taunting me with the snake emoji. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Kimberly says she loves the holder for my brushes. Yes, I think I get a comment about that every time. And every time I put it in the description, it's from Stampin' Storage, the same company that does my paper holders and my ink storage and, and all of my storage units. And I can put a link in there as well. But yes, I love that. I did spray paint it with uh, like a dark black speckly paint. Uh, it does come in regular, just raw wood color when you buy it. Yes, our group is so much fun, Tammy. That is correct. The Love to Stamp group. I will, it, hey, when I'm done with this, I will put the link in the description if you would like more information about this starter kit special and about our group. And if you have questions, please contact me. My blog is pattystamps.com and there is a little link at the top for contact me and you are welcome to use that link anytime if you would like more information or chat or you have questions or whatever. 
Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lisa. She said she shared the video. Yes, if you have crafty friends that you think would love this idea about spritzing the bedazzling paper and making these cards, please go ahead and share the video. That would be wonderful. Thank you. And if you missed, if you didn't tune in the beginning, I did use the spritzers to color the paper. So all of this info and this card will be on my blog tomorrow. So that will be Saturday, August 14th, pattystamps.com. And then the other two cards, this one and this one will be on my blog. I believe Monday I will have them on there for you. All right. So, hey, any questions I can answer for you about Oh, I will, do, I will tell you in just a second, Arlene. Thank you for asking. Any questions I can answer about the celebration gifts, about the holiday catalog, the dates, what you can get for free, how you get it free. Uh, there is a link if you would like to shop with me on pattystamps.com. There is a link. There is also a link at the top of this video or in the description below, depending where you're watching it, that you can shop with me on the Stampin' Up! website. Would love to be your demonstrator if you don't have one. Um, so just catching up, Arlene was asking about the recipe for uh, this. And I think I just remembered there was a question that went by about the strength of the alcohol. So I use, let me just grab it without knocking over the camera, the 91% isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. I did not know the difference years ago in the 50%, the I think there's also 40%, the 70%, and the 90%. I didn't understand. Well, all it means is that, like, let's just say you got the 50% one. It means that it's 50% water. So the 91% would be only 9% water and 91% rubbing alcohol. The advantage to using the 91% is that it's going to dry a lot faster. So imagine that this was filled with half alcohol, half water, which would be the 50%, and you're spraying it on here. So you're drenching it with half water and half alcohol. It's going to soak in and soak this, and it's going to take a long time to dry. Whereas the 91% it's going to dry super fast because you know how fast alcohol evaporates, right? And it dries really quickly. So there's your advantage to adding, to using the 90%. Now it costs just a little bit more, which is part of the reason I always bought the 50 or the 70 because it was cheap. But now that I understand the difference and why you would want the 91%, I always buy 90 or 91%. Anyway, back to your question. About 10 drops of the Stampin' Up! re -inker, and then fill it about three quarters of the way with the rubbing alcohol. Put your little tube back in, give it a shake, and then spritz. So I hope that helps, and I hope that's a good explanation. And if you missed it, this is what I love. Do you see this tip? This is a hair color applicator. And you can get it like at Sally Beauty or on Amazon. And then I've got it labeled because... Always, if you fill something, always label it. You never want someone to think like, oh, that's a drink of water, or you don't want a child to get a hold of it or something. So always label it, rubbing alcohol. And I like it because this little tip fits right down into the tube to fill it really easily. So I always keep one of these at my desk as well. Uh, Roxanne is asking, did I find the intricate dies harder to cut with this paper? So as I was saying, right in the very center of that intricate pumpkin, it didn't cut all the way through. So I just put a leaf and the greeting right across the middle, but you can see the rest of it cut beautifully. So um, kind of like yes and no, most of it cut okay, but part of it didn't. So yeah, these, all of these cut absolutely beautifully. No problem at all. Let me show you on here. It might be easier to see. So all of those intricate pieces just fell right out. No problem whatsoever. I did do two passes like, you know, back and then forth in my die cutting machine. Um, let's see. Let me just see if I missed any other. Oh, Libby, good. I'm glad that that was helpful about the different 
uh, uh, percentages of the alcohol. Oh, good. Brenda said that she used sponges also. Good. That's a good, um, good way to do that. Can we use that paper with our punches? Betty is asking. I have not tried it with punches. Let me just grab one. Let's see. Let's just, I'm just trying to think of something. I don't want to use too intricate. So let's, like, let's try the ovals, okay? And let me use, here, this piece is, is partially used. So I'm just going to use that piece. Okay, well, it punched easy. So there you have the oval. I mean, it punched fine. It was not a struggle. Uh, now, going with the little uh, warning that they have in the catalog, I'm going to say it probably will dull your punches, but it works. I wouldn't make, say, a hundred of them, but, but you know, if you just want one or two, yeah, go for it. That was a great question. Let's see. Anything, any other questions? Um... Sorry, I'm just scrolling back on my iPad right here to see if there were any other questions. Oh, I'm sorry. Chrisanne said that she missed the paper share. Yeah, I posted it like eight times, so I'm sorry that you missed it as well. And Oh, Chrisanne says she has a bottle where there's like an elbow. I haven't seen that one so that it bends. I have not seen that. That would be helpful as well. All right. Oh, okay. Here's a little warning. Let's back up here. Leticia says that she tried the star punch and it jammed with the glimmer paper. So I'm not going to advocate using your punches with this paper. I would go with what Leticia said. She said it jammed. Um, it could also be because there's like, isn't there like four or five images on that punch? And I know that when you're trying to punch a lot of things at once, um, like is, doesn't the deer have like antlers also that it can be really tricky, even with paper? Okay, um, let's see. Do I have a favorite celebration item? Uh, Libby is asking. I definitely think it has to be the summer shadow dyes because you know me, flower girl. I'm all about the flowers, love the flowers. And I, to me, this is like a fantastic free gift. Look at all those dyes you get. So I think, pretty sure that is my favorite. And then the Dahlia set has to be my second favorite. And I can't wait to make more cards with that. Thanks for asking, Libby. Dragonfly Punch. Yeah, that might be a little bit detailed for this paper. Special machine. Um, you know what, I, Margaret, I don't have my old Big Shot anymore, so I could not tell you. But I'm guessing it's going to cut about, you can see my, wait, where's my... <laughs> Right there is my stamp and cut and emboss. I'm going to guess it's going to be the same with that. Oh, okay. Brenda is saying, here's a tip, that she used two layers of computer paper added to her die cut sandwich for the intricate dies and it cut better. There you go. So you can play with your die cutting machine and see what, how much extra pressure maybe would help. All right. Um... Oh, Robin, yeah, the penguin paper. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, I guess that does have to be my favorite, doesn't it? <laughs> Probably is. I think you're right. I think you're right. The penguin paper must be my favorite. Okay, Leticia says she tried the star and it got stuck. Be careful. Okay, let's not advocate the punches with this paper then. All right. Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. The, let's see, I'm trying to think. No, I used my big machine, not my mini is right there. Um, because kind of like this, I laid a bunch of them out. Hang on. So you can see, I lay a bunch of them out on the six by six all at once and ran it through. I could have cut this in half and put it through the mini, but I, I just use, I keep the sheet as a whole and run it through um, like that. So thank you. I was sorry. I was not, um, was not following that question. 
Okay, so any questions I can answer for you before I let you go? It's been fun hanging out. I hope you enjoyed the samples and the tips and the ideas and the explanation of celebration. And the phone didn't even ring today. I always love it when I can get through a live without the phone ringing. Isn't that good? A good Friday. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Well, we, we're just ending, Joanne. I'm glad you caught us live. If you just tuned in, be sure to watch the replay. So uh, you're welcome, Margaret. This video will be replayed on my blog tomorrow, pattystamps.com, on Saturday, August 14th. And I will also get it up onto my YouTube channel, Patty Stamps on YouTube, uh, later today. So watch for that. You're welcome, Brenda. You're welcome, Kay. Thanks for joining me. So nice to have you with us. All right. So uh, I will see you next Friday. I'm not sure what we're going to play with next Friday. I'm really wanting to play with that new chalk, the pastel chalk. Um, so maybe, maybe that. I'm thinking the Dahlia stamp. I'm not sure. Haven't decided yet. All right. Thank you, everybody. I will see you next week. Have a wonderful weekend. Have fun playing. And don't forget to add the Be Dazzling paper as your free $50 gift before it runs out to your online order. I will see you all later. Bye.